Hello, Intro to Programming Concept students. This is Dennis. Here is the uh, weekly eating program that you all turned in. This is my solution. This is one of many possible solutions. The first thing I did in my code is I put a comment header, my name, the date, and a description. I made it pretty with a little marquee. Then I just took the specs and I wrote them here. This is not a design tool. It's just the program uh, description. Down here, the next thing I did right here is my preprocessor directives. Notice this turns off the save command so I don't have to use the scanf underscore s. My two libraries and I created an alias for pause, for system pause called capital P-A-U-S-C, which will be a constant and all constants are in capital letters. The next thing I did is I started main and in main, I declared these variables, number of weeks, min and max spent, a loop control variable, and the amount spent in a week. This is about the only I and J or loop control variables that, that should be uh, legal to have single letters. Everything else should be meaningful. Next thing I do right here is I get the number of weeks. Notice it's a printf and a scanf. After the printf and scanf, I test to make sure the number of weeks is not less than five or greater than 50. If it is, I yell at the user and I loop back up and I stay in this loop until they enter a number between 5 and 50 inclusive. Once they enter a number between 5 and 50, I come down here and I loop that number of times. So I, I loop whatever they type the number of weeks times. Within the loop, the first thing I do is ask them how much they spent. You can check out this statement. It says spend with a question mark in week one of 10 or in week two of 10. This is how I fill in this placeholder and this is how I fill in that one. So now spent has how much they spent in any given week. And then I display the message. If it's greater than 250, they're getting fat. If it's less than $50.55, they're going to start. Last thing I do in this loop is I, in my for loop, notice my end of four is here, is I set my min and max spent uh, at any one time. I start by having a special case, the one and only time that it is the first time I ever see a number. Well, the first time I ever see a number, that number will be the least and the most I ever see at that moment. So the very special time is the first time and min and max equal the current value. After that, every other time I test to see if the number is less than min. If it is, I store the number in min or I test to see if the number is greater than max. And if it is, I store the number in max. I'm out of the loop and the last thing I have to do is down here, down here, right here, is display, let me move this over, display the max and min spent in any given week. Cosmetics, these, these printfs, and end of main, end of program. I'm gonna run it real fast, and then I'm gonna end this video. So when the program runs, when the program runs, it says enter the number of weeks. I enter some invalid number like 66, it yells at me, I enter something valid like five and it says, how much did you spend in the first week? I only spent four bucks, so I'm gonna starve. In the second week, I spend 666, I'm getting fat. 777, I'm getting fat. 45, I'm gonna starve. 55 is neither fat or starve, so no message at all. And notice the smallest number I entered was four and the biggest number I entered was 777. Here's that statement. The least spent on food in any one week was $4 and the most spent was $777. Some spaces that I put in before and after that statement, I press any key to continue and I don't want to have this video run any longer, but that would be a solution to the problem or the program for how much did you spend in any given week, whether you're getting fat or not. Here it is one more time. My comment, I rewrite the program specs my preprocessor directives, my variable de declaration, my getting the number of weeks and validating it, my looping for each week, getting the value, testing it to see if they're getting fat or going to starve. I set the min and max inside of that loop. Outside of the loop, I display it. That's it. See you later. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.